is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Tuesday, the 19th of March. Uh, we're looking at the Dow up 62 at 38,850, right on the cusp. We're just waiting to see uh, whether or not, let's see, the YM, the futures last night. Yep, the futures did last night and today cross negative finally, but not the Dow cash. Well, we have to wait for the cash. The cash is now trading at up 68 to 38,857. The S&P, that's the cash S&P, SPXS, that is trading down 11 at 51.38, still way above the nine period. Uh, no, it's right on the nine period moving average, which is above the 40. We're waiting patiently to see if that's going to turn negative at some time this week. We're looking at the QQQ now. This is a little different. QQQs have, in fact, the day is young, but right now, you can see S, that means sell. That means that the nine period moving average, whoops, it just went, it disappeared. That's our fragile. Oh, it's back again. So it's down 2.90 at 434. We're watching to see because the futures, the NQ futures did last night cross negative. We'll see if that's going to stay. If it does, there's to be another component in looking at the market in terms of um, some kind of a, some kind of a short-term sell signal is underway. Uh, you've got the S in the IWM. We were expecting that, and it's already there, down 110 at 200. That's the Russell 2000. Let's go to gold. Uh, gold is trading down uh, 10 at 2,154. Still pretty good action. Nine is way over over the 14, so this is kind of good. But the dollar, the dollar has moved up. Quite sharp. It's up 37 ticks at 103.92. It's broken the 200 period moving average. It's broken the trend line resistance. We'll go through that in my show. In my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians, as well as tonight at four o'clock this afternoon. For those subscribers, you can be a subscriber. Check it out. It's a really an important moment. We're looking at the uh, bonds right now. Bonds are. Up 9.30 seconds, just barely above the uh, the low of yesterday. Not that great. But crude oil, we'll be watching that very closely because this is up 14 cents again today. There's a lot going on, and we'll talk about it in the Tiger Technician's Hour and in the webinar today, the tools that you need for the coming few months and the stocks we're looking at in the market to be able to buy and short. We'll be back in a moment.